What's up guys, my name is Jesse. Today we are at Highlands Park in Ben Lomond. Skate park is down over there. I'm at the little playground on this little red foamy stuff. Great for a warm up. Today this workout is going to fire up your body. It's gonna activate all these muscles that your body needs in order to have a good time at the skate park. You ever like at the skate park and you feel like your knees are just hurting, your back's hurting. If you're older like me, then things like that can happen. And like, if you don't warm up your body, you can end up hurting yourself a lot worse down the road. So it's always good to start with this little quick warm up. It won't take longer than about seven minutes. And uh, let's get started. All right, so today we're gonna start with some wrist and ankle warm ups, right? So really simple. You're just gonna write your name in capital letters and then in cursive, we're gonna start with the wrists and then go to the ankles. And uh, while you do this, I want you to focus on activating those muscles in your wrists. Those muscles are there to protect your wrists from when you fall, when you're doing handstands, when you're doing any kind of other crazy stuff on a skateboard. Ooh. Just keep going. It looks kind of funny, but whatever. Your body will thank you. Then, okay, capital letters, now cursive. I got the uh, name writing thing from Andy Anderson. You guys know who he is. All right, wrists done, now go to ankles. Same thing again, focus on those muscles. Do it slowly, you don't no need to go too fast. It honestly feels really good. <laughs> And if your name is really long, I'm sorry. Mine is uh, not. <laughs> oh, okay, capital letters now cursive. Just keep it moving, getting that body warmed up for an excellent skate session. Blam! Boom! All right. <sighs> On to next. Next phase in the workout is to hit the core. Gotta have a strong core, because everything begins in the core. We're gonna get down. You can either get into a bridge on your forearms, you can get into a bridge on your fit, or hands, fists, if you're a real freak, but that doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna just hold it here. We're gonna hold for about 30 seconds, okay? Keep those abs tight, back nice and straight, your legs active and straight, your wrists should be stacked underneath your shoulders. Good, all right, now we're gonna hit some Spider-Mans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now to the inside, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Take a little break. Shake your arms out a little bit. We're going to do some push ups. <sighs> Not too many. It's just a warm up. If you only got 10, do 10. If you got 15, do 15. If you got 20, do 20. I think I'm going to do 15 today. And chest all the way down to the ground and all the way back up. Use your breath. <sighs> Exhale on the way up. <sighs> 
15, all right. Woo! Okay, now we're gonna go into this side boat, okay? You're just gonna lay down on the floor, turn sideways to your left or to your right, lean on your right hip. Legs come up about 10 inches off the ground. Lift your body up, activate your core right here on the sides. These are important because you want to have those stabilizer muscles strong. I'm going to hold this for about 30 seconds. Go ahead, breathe. Whew. Push to the other side. And up. Focus on these muscles right here, the side abdominal muscles. those legs nice and straight. Good and relax. That was good. All right, now we're going to activate this side glute muscle, all right? This side glute muscle helps protect your lower back and have an overall better performance. I know that when I activate these before I work out or before I skate, surf, whatever it is, it makes a huge difference. It makes the difference between my back and like hurting and it not hurting. So these are super, super simple. You're just gonna lay on the ground and just side leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're gonna do fifteen. Fifteen. I think that was fifteen. <laughs> Switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, keep that leg nice and straight. Nine, ten, eleven, focus all your energy right here. This guy's working for you. All right, switch again. I like to run through these twice just because I feel like they are so important. Fourteen, fifteen, good switch. Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, good. Oh. Now straight into that, we're gonna go into this thing called pigeon pose. I learned this when I did some yoga, and I found that it just feels so great, especially after that. It really opens up the hips, stretches that little like glute muscle that you were working on just now. I could tell you all the scientific names of these muscles, but you're not gonna remember them anyway. <laughs> so that's okay. Just side glute, side thigh, side abs. You, you know what it is. It's important to get like seven, eight, ten breaths out of every stretch. Switch it up. Other side.
good. Oh, all right. Now we're going to go into the legs, work some of these squats real quick to get our legs firing up, ready for those high impacts of skateboarding. Okay, so the first thing first, we're gonna fix our pants. Now it's getting warm, roll up the pants. We're gonna hit some just basic squats, all right? I want you to go all the way down and all the way up. You go down and up at the top, squeeze the glutes. Full activation. Down, back up, activate the glutes. The glutes should be active the whole entire time. And you want to put the weight on the outsides of your feet right here. And that'll again activate these side glutes muscles which protects your spine. Very important. We do about 10 of these. Speed it up. Good. All right. Now we're going to go into side lunges, all right? Same thing. Keep the core nice and tight. Go down, lean into the glutes, and back up. We're going to alternate. Up. We want to do about 8 to 10 to each side. Keep the core tight. Use your breath. Exhale when you're coming up. Modify this workout as needed. You can do more or less depending on your fitness level. Awesome. All right, we're just about done. We're going to run into some jumping lunges, all right? This is to activate this quad, which is going to protect your knees from all the stuff that's going on in those bowls. All right, boys, ready? We're going to do uh, 20 total, so 10 each leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Be explosive. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, fire that back leg, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, woo, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, you guys, woo, that was a great workout. Ready, warmed up, I'm definitely warm. It didn't get much warmer here, but my body is ready to go. I'm sweating a little bit, but uh, have a great skate session. I'll see you guys on the next one. See you later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Shoots.